What is going on with YouTube? This is Dave from Tech Refresh coming at you with another video. Today we're looking at the IQ Shield clear protection for the Google Pixel 2 XL. So these are some screen protectors. I've been hearing good things about these. These are not tempered glass. Uh, they're very cheap on Amazon. Link is in the description if you're interested. Uh, they're only $7.85. I think you get a couple of them. My phone's gonna die, but I'm gonna try to install this. I'm probably the absolute worst at it but through the power of editing, um, maybe we can get through it together. All right, let's see what's in the box. All right, as we open up this box, I know you're new to the channel, so go ahead and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Uh, and my shaky hands, trying to install the screen protector. All right, what do we have here? Okay, I got 1% battery remaining, that's not good. All right, looks like the actual screen protector, there's a bevy of things in here. Let's see what else, I'm gonna just dump it all out. See what we got in here. All right, let's see. Okay, we got some liquid here. So maybe this is a installation solution. So it looks somewhat like a wet install. Um, you got a nice little cleaning cloth. They give you a whole bunch of things. And you got a nice squeegee. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so we have the phone. We have the screen protector. We have the fluid, the installation solution, and we have the squeegee. We're gonna need all, all three of these, or four of them. Uh, this uh, actual box comes with two screen protectors. So if you screw the first one up like I did, you get another one. All right, so you wanna wipe down your phone, make sure there's uh, no fingerprints, dust, uh, anything on the device, and that looks good. That looks really good. Let me make sure it's fully wiped down here. Wipe that off, wipe it like that. I'm getting in the speakers, okay. All right, I think we're, let's see. Dust free, dust free. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna take the screen protector. Uh, it's on a sheet, that's the screen protector here. It looks like it has all the proper cutouts even for that um, sensor that we can't see. And you want, first you wanna wet your fingers, make sure you can deal with it. Wet your fingers, hopefully this has some aloe vera in it, can moisturize your skin. Once your fingers are wet so you can deal with it, um, you wanna spray a little bit on half so you can deal with it. Uh, and let's see how this goes this time. I just wanna unpeel it. Now we have the adhesive side. So you have the adhesive side. What you wanna do is spray the adhesive side down. This is a wet install. All right, so we're getting the device wet again um, on accident, <laughs> but let's see. All right, we got that spray down. Let me wipe the device down really quick. Sliding around, all right, let's see. All right, now you wanna apply this, but the thing about it is you can move it once you put it on. So it's not unforgiving. And you want to just get it just perfect, just perfect. Line up all the uh, ports. It's really important that you get that proximity sensor lined up because if you don't, that could be a problem. All right, so luckily it's wet and it still moves around a bit. Let's see here. That looks pretty perfect to me. All right. So we got the squeegee. We got the squeegee. And we're going to open that bad boy up. Thank God they include this. And we're going to try to squeegee this bad boy out. Okay, just get the excess down the sides. Let's see here. All the excess liquid. Maybe I went too heavy on the liquid. We'll see. This doesn't work, I'm gonna just peel it off. <laughs> All right. Make sure that bad boy is down. Squeegee. Squeegee all the liquid out. Then we're gonna let this bad boy cure. So luckily it's nighttime. Oh, don't lift it up. Okay. Let's see here. You can still see some liquid and some bubbles. We're gonna get them all out, and I think it's gonna lay down just perfect. And let's see, hopefully, let me make sure I got it lined up right. Huh, move it a little bit. 
Let's see if I can move it. All right, let's see. I think, I think it's lined up. We don't want any impediment to the camera, um, anything restricting the camera, proximity sensor. All right, squeeze that bad boy out. I'm gonna let it sit and I'll be back. All right, so it looks like it's dry um, and it looks pretty good. This is probably the best installation I've ever had for a screen protector. I'm not great at doing it, but um, all the edges are looking great. Um, yeah, I lined it up perfect with the uh, front facing camera here, the proximity sensor cutout lined up with both speaker grills and it is definitely a good looking um, shield, yeah. A good looking screen protector. I actually can recommend the IQ Shield. I'm not high on screen protectors, but for as easy as that installation was, um, and as for as good as it look and looks, and it's supposed to cure and get better uh, over 20 between 24 and 48 hours, uh, everything's supposed to lay down perfect because you can see it just a little bit coming up in certain spots. Um, but it's definitely a, a good looking screen protector. Um, it looks like it's going to be case friendly. It's not quite dry, so I don't want to put it fully uh, in the case. I don't want it coming up before it cures, but uh, get active in the comments. Let me know what you're using on your devices, and I'll get at you guys another time. Peace.